G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Liam Zoller. Welcome back to Fitted Health Summit. Today I'm with Sarah Thompson, uh, Miss Fit. Uh, she's also known as. She's a wonderful teacher, wonderful instructor, doing great things in the industry in a little bit of a different way. So usually we think of yoga and, and acrobatics and pole dancing, and she's bringing it all together into a, four studios in, in, in Sydney. So if you're in Sydney, please check her out. She's unbelievable. So Sarah, how'd you get into the industry, the health and fitness industry? Well, I had a massive career change. I was previously working as a veterinarian and one of my vet nurses started doing pole dancing. Oh, really? And she showed me a little bit of footage of her little first term graduation performance. I go, oh, I want to start that. Um, <laughs> so I started um, classes straight away and it was just like a duck to water. I loved it so much and mm -hmm. made my way up through the levels. And then um, one day um, I had this epiphany with my partner and we said, why don't we open up a studio and just see what happens? Because um, I was working in a part of Sydney where there wasn't any existing pole studios. This was back in 2007. It was the very early days of um, the pole industry in Sydney. And I knew a heap of girls that wanted to learn it, but they weren't able to get into the CBD where the studios were at that stage. So we set up our very first studio in a tiny room at Borkham Hills and it just took off. And it was a massive learning exercise because I hadn't been a fitness instructor before. So it was a career change for me and yep. I had to um, develop a curriculum and get my fitness qualifications and, and all that happening. And uh, yeah, the thing just kept growing. And so we expanded um, to what we have now, which is the four locations. And we're now the biggest group of whole studios in Sydney. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. yeah. So what, what, so what sort of things do you do in your studio that makes it a little bit different? So you do pole and I can see these, <coughs> these yeah. swings. Yeah, so yeah. we're also um, the leading studio for um, aerial yoga, aerial fitness in, in Sydney. Okay. So um, using the, the nice stretchy um, fabric slings. Yeah. Um, and we like these particular kind of slings because there's so much versatility with them. So um, with the, the students that do the aerial yoga classes, they don't necessarily do pole. Um, a lot of them have had some yoga experience, but a lot of them haven't had any sort of fitness experience at all. Mm -hmm. So some of them are recovering from injuries and their um, doctors or their physios have suggested that they start doing classes with us, so it's part of their rehab. Yeah. Um, or it's just people looking for a, a different kind of fitness activity. Um, it's very different from floor-based yoga. There's heaps of things that you can do in the air that you can't do when you're on the ground. Yep. So the, the, the slings and being aerial just gives you a huge degree of versatility um, with your training. And so we use it for strength training, so core conditioning, upper body strength training, legs, stability and balance. So just making you feel more, more grounded, more in touch with your body. And then um, once we get our students a little bit stronger, then we have them going upside down and doing flips and somersaults and oh, acrobatic right. elements and um, all, all while safe, safely supported by the slings. Yeah. Um, and they're sort of challenging their, their mind and their body at the same time. Yeah, exactly Yeah, right. and the whole thing is to you develop trust in yourself and that's what builds up your self-confidence and your self-esteem and you just feel like a better person. Yeah, definitely. Which you are. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. So do you think it's, does it matter like boy, like there's, no, there's a stigma between having boys and girls doing pole yeah. dancing and aerial yoga and yeah. stuff like that. Do you think I could do something like this? As I well? reckon you could give it a try. <laughs> our, our senior instructor, uh, my partner John, he's yep. a master aerial yoga ins, um, okay. instructor. Um, and you know, there's plenty of guys that, that do it. Um, mm -hmm. I guess because we are a pole studio, most of our students are female, mm -hmm. but there's no reason why guys can't do it. We also have um, teenagers doing it, um, that are doing it as sort of co-training for gymnastics and cheerleading and ice skating and the other sorts of sports that they're involved in as well. Mm -hmm. So it's something that can appeal to anyone. Um, and I mean, I've got um, students that are, they're not all young, um, mm -hmm got students up, aged up to 65 really? uh, that are doing it and loving it. hanging upside down. Exactly. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. They totally get into it. It's the highlight of their week. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, there's, you know, you can, it suits everyone and yeah. you don't need a fitness background to be good at it. Yeah, yeah awesome. We, we make you strong in the classes. Can we give it a go? Okay, let's see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so Liam, yep. let's work on a bit of core and shoulder conditioning. Okay. Let's see how strong you really are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm strong, but uh, really? I, reckon, okay. I reckon it could change in any moment. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you're going to be standing under your plumb line, so yep. directly below the center point of the sling. Yep. So just bring your feet a little bit more forward. 
forward. A little bit more forward, yep. Okay. Now, nice firm grasp on the fabric. You're going to flatten out, push your hands away from you. Have your head in a neutral position. Pop up onto your toes and push your hands forward. Try and bring your hips as far forward as you can. Oh my God. Push away, push, push, push. A little bit more, a little bit more. Push and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Back. Wow. Good. Well done. It's a hard one. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just take you for a little bit of a stretch. We're going to swing around to the side. Keep your feet flat. Around to the other side. Try and get your hands to go beyond your hips if you possibly can, depending on how flexy your spine is feeling. Keep your feet planted on the floor. Try and keep your knees straight if you can. Yep. Good. Yep, really good. Circle so around. See if you can see yourself in the mirror. That's your challenge. Yeah. Go right around. Good. One more. And back to the centre. Push your hands away from you. We're going to open up our shoulders, stretch them out, and then bring your hands back to the hips. And standing up. Good. That was hard. Survived it. <laughs> did really well. <laughs> I, I really felt that in my elbow, like stretching them out. Yes, yeah, shoulders. it's very intense for your arms. Especially doing a lot of weights, like heavy mm. weights all yeah, the time. Yeah, like yeah. It, it's, it's so constricted and then just yeah. to open myself out. Yeah, possibly you don't do a lot of stretching. Most, yeah. most people don't do not very much stretching. Of, not a lot of guys do. We no, just exactly. We're just trying to get yeah. big, don't we? Yeah. Do you want me to move this at all? Yes, I'll get you to take those up um, a notch. Yep. Yeah. Move this forward. Is going to be supporting you a little bit more. Cool. We're just going to do a couple of stretches. I'll turn ourselves around so that we're facing the mirror this time. Yeah. And I want you to position the sling so it's sitting around the bottom of your ribs and walk back. So this yeah. is a little trust exercise as much as anything. The sling is now holding you up. Yep. Yeah, you feel okay? Yep, feel fine. Yep, good. So we can do a little um, back extension from here, stretch mm -hmm. out your core. So we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, drop your hands towards the floor, try and get them low, and try and slide your shoulder blades down your back and allow your shoulders to relax and tilt your head back. See if you can see that window behind you. Keep your mouth closed so that you're also going to stretch out the muscles of your neck. And slowly bring yourself up. Good. Feel all right? It's good. Yes? Okay. It felt, felt a little bit shaky in my abs already, and I wasn't yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so lift you up for it. We can do a little progression from there. Okay. So this time we'll have our hands extended above our head, yep. and we're going to follow our fingers with our eyes. Mm -hmm. So stretching your hands towards that window, pushing your chest to the ceiling, trying to arch yourself over that fabric. Good. Shake it already. Good. That's really good. So, yep, don't forget to breathe. Breathing is handy. And slowly bring yourself up. Good. Well done. All right. Um, and we can do a nice little side bend from here as well. Okay. So, still leaning back into the fabric. So, yep. you're not having to exert any effort to stand up. The yep. sling is holding you up. And take yourself up. Pretending that you're a beautiful figure skater, Liam, because I know that you've always dreamt of being a figure skater. Always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> and look at you, you're a natural. <laughs> I never thought I'd have it in. <laughs> <laughs> you've missed your calling. <laughs> but it's not too late to start. Oh, that's it. It's never too late to start, is it? <clears throat> Always reinvent yourself. That's exactly right, and that's what we want to do. I did a career change from being a veterinarian to a pole dance instructor. You did? You I did, did indeed. Wow. Yes, so quite radical. <clears throat> well, was it? Yeah, definitely. And now you own four studios. Indeed. So, how long has that been then since? We started in 2007. Okay. Yeah. So, what a fast progression already. Well, what are we yeah, yep. that's what exactly right. Um, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna um we're gonna put you into some upside down positions. Okay? Already? Yeah, 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 yeah. So but what we'll do, we'll start off with you nice and low, and then as you get more used to it, we'll take the slings up higher. Yep. So we'll, we'll drop them down. 
to uh, hip height so that the, the bottom of the spleen is hanging level with your hips. So this last second from the bottom one? Um, yeah. That's it? Yep. What we want to do here is this sling ultimately becomes a hammock. Okay. Yeah, we'll turn it into a hammock at the end. Um, but for now, I want you to fold it over approximately into thirds. Yep. So one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exact. Yep, yep, three. yep, yep. And the sling is going to be sitting over your lower back and slightly over your butt. Yep. Okay. So to get that to happen, let's face the mirrors. Yep. And position the fabric around your bum. Um, Actually, I'll just yeah, I'll just get you to step really forward. Yeah, yeah. You've just created it a little bit. So just it's just like that. So your your butt's going to be sitting in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit too good at folding. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably very neat and tight. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you need to walk right back into it. So you create yeah. tension with the fabric. Now don't let it slide below your bottom. Okay. Don't yeah. Let so it slide don't below. let it slide below. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. good. That looks really good. Yep. Okay, so you're going to keep your body weight pushing this, the fabric away. So we're maintaining that tension in the fabric. Bring yourself back down so that your hips are now under your plumb line. Yep. That's it. And what we're going to do, we're going to have froggy knees. So your knees are going to go wide. Yep. Okay. And tilting back. Oh, wide no. knees. Wrapping outside to in. Oh, Bend your knees. Yep. Bend those knees. Bend them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. And see if the soles of your feet will touch. Good. Yeah, yeah. Bend your knees as much as you can. Yep. You've got boys' hips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Money <Funny> that. <laughs> so, this is, yeah, just to get used to this idea just of being upside down. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. So, and getting used to the how the fabric's going to be wrapping around you. It's surprising it feels comfortable and I feel locked in. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's a very secure wrap. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay, so to get ourselves out of this position, yeah. just hands, if we're in the air, hands back on the fabric, unwrapping those legs, sit, and slowly bring yourself up. So, what we'll do, we'll migrate the swing slowly upwards. Yeah. We can probably do a little edit of this showing you go through all the stages. So, yeah. So, we'll have your head oh, off the floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. But I always just like to do it in a stepwise manner. Yeah, exactly right. Manner. Okay. So, now each time we take the swing up, it's, the swing's going to find it a little bit more. So just right. remember you don't, want it, you don't want it on your thighs. Yeah. yeah. So it's really going to sit, if I can just touch it there, um, on the small of your back. Yeah. Come, coming down there, that, that sort of area there. Yeah. So, just sort of adjust it a little bit with your hands, walk back into it. So you've got to create that tension against the fabric. That's it, yep. Which a little bit on my bum then? A little bit on your bum is good. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So bring yourself back down. That's it, yeah. You've got it perfectly set up there now. Yep. Now remember, we want those knees to go wide. So pretend you're a frog. Yep. Yep. Wide knees. <laughs> yeah. Wrapping <laughs> outside to in. <laughs> That's it. Come on, feet. That's it. it. Well, yeah. Good. Okay. Let's see if you can get your feet into a lotus position so the soles of your feet are touching. Good. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. That feels a bit different. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So each time we do this, we're going to have less of us on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Okay. So hands up. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we'll go up another notch. Okay. Kind of scared and kind of excited at the same time. Yeah, well, <laughs> a new challenge. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh my god, you should have seen me in my first ever aerial yoga class. I was so crap. Like, oh, really? seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so uncoordinated. Um, but the thing that I loved about it was that at the time I did the class, I actually had a, a back injury. I had a, a spasm um, iliopsoas muscle in okay. my back. Yep. And it's sort of muscle because it's in so deep in base of your spine, the physios can't really do much with it. You know, you try and stretch it out, but they can't physically manipulate it. Yeah. And um, it was just by going through this process of hanging upside down and getting this natural anti-gravity stretch through my back 
actually relieved all the spasms from oh, my really? back and I was instantly pain free, yeah, having been in agony for two weeks. Wow. So I was just so impressed with that. Yeah. You know, I stood up after the class and go, John, I can't believe it, I'm not in pain anymore. <laughs> Do you so, think that's where it got you then? The, the area of the over? Yeah, well, that, that, the I mean, we, we, we could see that there was just this beautiful um, uh, progression from pole. Like, there's so much crossover with pole, but it's a different way of exercising your body because you're doing everything symmetrically, whereas with pole, everything is one side and it's this arm. Yeah, exactly arm, right. And yeah. This shelf and that shelf and this leg and that leg. So, um, yeah, I liked the fact that it's so symmetrical and. Yeah. Um, and you know we can, we can make these exercises as hard or as easy as we want to. So it's suitable for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you do pole or don't do pole. Yeah. Probably at least fifty percent of our students don't do pole. Mm -hmm. So they come from all sorts of backgrounds: men, women. We've got teenage girls doing it, ice skaters, gymnasts, ex ballet dancers, people that have had injuries. Yeah. Um, that are in rehab um, because it's really gentle. There's no jarring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can do lots of flexibility work or conditioning work. And it, it's fun, you know, just getting the whole... Yeah, it was fun just doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get you a little bit more in the air. Yep. So, you're going to push that swing down. Yep, try and position it. Just around the, the small of that. Yeah, it's always going to fight you. It's always going to want to ride up. So yep. you have to push it down. Yep, that's it. Yep, 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 yep. And lean back, lean back. That's it. You got it, you got it, you got it. Good. Okay. Oh, here we go. This Come on, froggy knees. You know you can yep. do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Good. Yeah. yeah there you Holy go. shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good. Okay. This well feels done. Completely random. <laughs> <laughs> Take it right outside your comfort zone. Definitely outside your comfort zone. Put your hands to the floor. So okay. You know where the floor is. Yeah. Good. Well done. I'm just remember to breathe and keep your body nice and relaxed, and then everything becomes much more doable. Yeah. I've got a little tear in my eye. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh. It's from all the, I think it's the, <laughs> the blood rushing. I'm not emotional, it's just the blood rush into my head. <laughs> but okay. it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it's, it's so relaxing. Really yeah, so hand, hands on the fabric. Yep. yep. Unwrap those legs. Oh. Okay. So. We might even take them up one more notch so that your more? head is completely clear of the floor because you're, right. you're picking this up like a duck to water. Oh, good. Yeah. And what we're going to do this time, Liam, is... Yeah, you can see how stretchy the slings are. So yeah. it makes it really comfy, but it means that we need to keep just in the height of the slings. But yep. it's okay. So this time we're going to have our backs to the mirror. So okay. we're going to invert. You're going to see yourself. Oh, okay. Which is really fun. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be fun. Isn't yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have to push that fabric down really firmly. It's yep. going to unch up a little bit. As long as it's in the small of your back. Okay. So I actually use my wrists to push it down. Use your wrists. See, I've got my elbows bent. I'm pushing it down with my wrists. Yep. So, yeah, just lean back, lean back, run away. Yeah, that's it, that's good. Good, right. good, 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 good. Right. Okay, so, froggy knees. knees, here we go. That's it, outside to in. Good. Oh, oh. God. There we go. Okay, oh. let's get those lotus feet happening. Yeah, yeah that feels good. And then really you can good. have your hands in, um, you can be an area of knee. Good, or you can have your fingers pointing towards the toes. Oh, look at you. Wow, this feels good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many different things that we can do from here. Yeah. So you can have you can have a little swing. Oh yeah. You can take ourselves out into a straddle. That's right. I don't know. You can squeeze your legs together. You can take yourself into all sorts of different positions. Yeah. Just I won't get you to do all of these things because we're running out of time. Yeah. This feels good. Just hang in here. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's so relaxing, just being upside the, down. All those years that I could, I, I said to myself, I want to hang out with my mates. Yeah, ah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so this is where you, um, you're getting that lovely, just a gravity stretch through your back. Yeah. And we've actually done little experiments where um, we've had people hanging upside down in the swings. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually measured their height first. And then hang upside down in the swing for about five minutes and then measure their height and then stretch it out by a centimetre. No way. Yeah, yeah. they're a centimetre no tall. Yeah. Alright, so hands back right. on, that's it. Unwrap those feet. Yep. Good. That was awesome. 
That is I actually good. really enjoy that. Excellent, excellent. You got a bit dizzy though. Oh yeah, it does make you a little bit dizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the blood yeah. rushing through. For sure. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Got a little tissue for your eyes. Wow, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm going to be girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, how about we take this sling off and I'm going to show you some um, flips and flips. some salts and stuff like that. Okay, cool. I reckon we'll give that away. No um, So, these are the wrist slings. Mm -hmm. um, you probably haven't used wrist slings before. No. no. So, I'll show you the, the safety way to hold it. You actually um, take your hand right through. And I watch uh, and it off. Yeah, maybe too. Um, it's not really going to be in the way there. Um, so create tension um, by pulling it against the spit and then turn the hand. So you, exactly. So that, that's how you hold the, the wrist sling. So you've got that nice, sort of slide your hand down into it. So yep. it feels nice and secure around the base of your hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we don't, we never just hold it like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, do we do it both? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So let's get that, that nice little secure grip. Okay. So um, I'll just get you standing under your plumb line. So standing directly below the book. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Good. Um, so when we're doing lifts, it's all about um, developing the awareness of the muscles in our back. Everyone thinks you lift with your biceps. You know, don't. You they're don't. sort of there for decoration. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. So I want you to be focused on these muscles through here. And yep. creating the engagement there, so through your rhomboids and your lats. Yep. Uh, so, taking your hands around in a circle, and as you take your elbows behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Good. And trying to keep your shoulders down nice and low, so we don't want to end up with hunched up shoulders like Yeah, shoulders that's just something that I'm really, yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. notice that I, I don't know if it's because I draw. Oh, no, most people do try and yeah. um, engage that way. So just try and keep those shoulders as low as possible. And when you're squeezing your shoulder blades together and you look down, you'll notice that your chest expands. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So we, we have this funny joke with the girls, you know, that insta-boob. Insta-boob. <laughs> Boob enlargement. Boob no enlargement. surgery. Yeah. <laughs> much cheaper and no scars. <laughs> uh, so, um, you've got pecs anyway, so oh, thank good. you. You're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, so that's just sort of a little awareness exercise, it's really basic. Yeah. So with your um, hands, um, elbows bent in front of you, yeah, so we're going to take the tension through our arms mm -hmm. and you're going to take your body weight, yes, yeah, so and rock it back and straighten your elbows. Um, back, maybe? Yeah, yeah, just straighten your knees. I've sort of lost the grip. Okay. So am I like that? Yeah, so, yep. Yeah. I just yeah. Is that right? You don't need to bunch it up too much. Just to, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Take take your um your wrist. So your hand is through it. Oh, your okay. hand is through it, and just allow your hand to slide down into it and catch. Oh, okay. Catch that. Yeah, exactly. That that's it. Yep, 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 yep. Don't worry. I'm not going to have you doing anything where you might die. You look as though you're going to die. I'll jump in and it's save you. Jump in and save you. I'll try. Don't don't worry jump about. in and save you. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're standing under our plumb line, so um, just bring yourself a little bit more forward, yep. three steps forward. So the, that hook is directly above your head, so a little bit more forward, more step forward. forward, yeah, yeah, oh, and okay. then you'll find that you've got enough space between yep. your mirror and yeah, you. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is um, about strengthening our arms, but also engaging your core mm -hmm. when you take yourself back through here. So we start off with bent elbows, we're creating that tension through our arms. And yeah, this is slings, that's it. Straightening your elbows, yeah. And now I want you to squeeze your belly button onto your spine, straighten your knees. So I want you to, yes, that's more like it's engaged through your core. So you're lovely and flat, good. And then we can just do some girly pull-ups from here. So we're just gonna bend our elbows and bring our, yeah, chest up to our wrists. Good, it's nice and easy. See how I go after a few of them. Yeah, I'll do. Most people can do these because you're just relying on the biceps. Yeah, it's a, it's effectively a body weight biceps curl. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. So once we get to here, we're going to be standing up. Take your hands out in a big circle behind you. Try and bring your wrists together. And we're going to dive towards the floor.
together. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Allow your hips to come to the floor. Yeah. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You're getting a massive stretch through your pecs right now. Huge. Yep, good. And, and biceps as well. Good, yes, excellent. And quick breathe. Good, okay, and then rocking back to your feet. So you're gonna plant your feet and you're looking at your knees now. Good. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> lost you. Well, lost you, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so just check that you're up here properly. Yeah. Um, what I might even do, I'm gonna okay. take these up a notch just to make this a little bit easier for you. It's less confronting. Yeah. Um, your face, it was quite fun, but I just yeah, didn't yeah, know how to get back Exactly, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. Your face won't be quite as close to the Okay, so just step forward a little bit, so directly under that hook. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the hook is your friend. Yeah. Okay. So, big circle with your hands. Taking your hands behind you. Yeah, but the thing is here to um, take take the weight through, through your hands, squeeze your wrists together because you're going to Take your weight in your hands and lay yourself to come forward. Good, yes, yes, yes. And wrap on your toes, beautiful. Okay, bring your hips forward. Feel that one to come forward. Yeah, good. Nice big stretch for your right. shoulders. Nice cool. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's probably not a stretch that you do very often. Not at all. Yep, 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 yep. So breathe into it. And then rock back onto your feet. So your feet are flat on the mat. Yeah. So you're now looking at your knees. Good. And then Good. That was better. Yeah. yeah. Try, that, try that one again. Yep. So hands go behind you. Squeeze your wrists together. Try and bring your hands in close. Yeah. Right. And your hands are going to save you. So you're going to swoop. Hopefully, Bob. There we go. Bring your hips a little bit more forward. Forward, yeah. That's it. Up on your toes. Good. And rocking back onto your feet. Yep. Heads low. That nice hamstring stretch while you're down there. Yeah. Good. And then standing up. Okay. It's really great for mobility, isn't it? Yeah, so that's just a little bit of stretching. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now we're going to do a little bit of actual um, lifting training. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I want you to do is to take those wrist slings up so that the bottom of the loop is hanging level um, approximately with your shoulders. Yep. Yeah. So, one so more. I've got, um, you're a little bit taller than me, I think go one, one notch on that. That's it. Yep. So you can really see the benefits already. You face the mirror for this, because I want you to watch how you're looking. Yep. Yep. About developing that awareness of the muscles in your back so you're squeezing your shoulder blades together so engage and maintain that engagement maintain that squeeze that's it good and inflate your lungs and elevate. good very nice okay so there's the three bits so the three cues are engage inflate and elevate Engage, yeah, yeah. inflate, elevate. Yes. Yep. Okay, I like that. <laughs> so engage, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Good, yep. nice expansion there. Okay, inflate, elevate. Excellent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm, there we go. Good. So what's that shaking though? You know how well, I'm you're just working hard. Just working yeah, hard, yeah. yeah. You, you just, I mean, you obviously do, do a lot of training, but you're probably just using muscles that you don't normally use. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. might be a bit sore tomorrow. That's <laughs> <Yeah. Sorry, one. laughs> Okay, so engage, inflate, elevate. Good. Excellent. Okay. So, if you want to, we can add on a progression from there, which is basically to turn that into a backward somersault. So with the backwards somersault, <laughs> um, we're, all we're doing is bringing our knees right up to our chest. So we've already brought our knees up to this level, so we're just going to bring our knees up a little bit higher and allow ourselves to tilt back. Okay. Yep. So 
I'll, I'll just show you this one. Yep. Engage, yep. inflate, elevate, and over. Psychological than it does actually the mobility in some ways. Yeah, you know. well, you've already got good strength, yeah. so you know you've got the strength to do these things. It's just allowing your brain to give your body the right signals. Yeah, just trust yourself. Exactly, yeah. it's a big trust thing. Exactly yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so if we wanted to, there's a whole heap of progressions that we can do from there, Liam. Yeah. So we can make all sorts of progressions with these. So we can actually turn this into a deadlift. So I've got my feet off the floor and bring myself up. And over. Living try, you've got unbelievable control, don't you? Yep, and then into. There's a whole heap of stuff in here as well. Yep. And down. All sorts of nice little stretches in here. I thought I had it on the somersault. I thought I was a. Oh, you did really well. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Well done. 
you've done a huge amount in half an hour. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Well done. Thank yeah, you so much. It's a pleasure. Is that the is that what you want me to show you with the exercise stuff? Like yeah, well that's sort of just some quite different sort of aspects to it. Mm. Like we could be here for hours. Yeah, so. definitely. Exactly. Um, but um, it gives you know quite an array of different kinds of things mm. that might appeal to women and to men. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I thought it was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. What am I? Now, I was just going to say this yeah, one yeah. thing to do. Yeah. <clears throat> um, is to turn the slings into the hammocks, and we'll show you how we do the little chill out, chillax thing if you like. Okay. Cool. That'd be a nice sort of finishing shot. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so we'll take the wrist slings off. I've really enjoyed this, eh, hey, Sarah? Oh, good. How do you like it? And we'll put your main sling back on. Yep. Right about here. And so this is where we want to open it up like a hammock. Okay. Yeah. And the rig, we're using this, or? No, you don't need okay. that. You can relax. So, so there's a couple of different ways that you can, um, is there enough, is that all working? Oh, we've got two minutes. Whoa, okay, quickly, two minutes of this. We're just going to park our butt. Basically, you're just going to wrap the fabric around you. Yep. Park your butt into the sling. Yep. Get it wrapped completely around you. Get it a little bit higher up so it's around your shoulders a bit more. Yep. So that just slide up. I just find it's more relaxing if my head and my neck. Yep. Framed. And then just allow yourself to swing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Actually, just reposition your sling and we'll get it around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe if we position, we'll have our backs to the camera, it'll, look, it'll be a better angle. Yep. So, if we're standing in front of the mirrors, and yeah, just get get that fabric around you, that's better. So, yeah, you'll be you way more comfy. Oh, way more comfy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you create a little push as you take your feet up. Yeah. What are you doing with your leg across the moment? Just relax. Um, I've got mine, um, you can do whatever you like with your legs. Um, I've got mine just on the one side. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Well, some people actually um, turn themselves around sideways. How what am I? Um, well, what you can do is actually create like a fun little hammock. Oh, hammock. Okay. Yeah. And. So you, you're sitting in, in like a traditional hammock like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be more comfy for you. So just yeah, get it positioned around your butt. Yeah. Good. And yeah, oh. uh, just spread that fabric with your feet. Good. It's yeah. Good. It's comfortable. <laughs> this is exercising. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how we finish the classes. So we have a little chillax session at the end of each class. Yeah. Um, I feel a bit mean sometimes because quite often girls will fall asleep. And you have to wake them up. In the slings. Yeah, I have to wake them up with a cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> have to poke them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, but it is really nice. Yeah. And so they, you finish the whole session, you know, having feel that you've been challenged but also nurtured. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it often tires, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. not the standard going into training and absolutely bash yourself. It's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. That's I appreciate a it.